Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 16 and more hidden features of iOS 16. Now this is a great update with a lot of new features and changes and every day, even like 10 days after the release of the first beta, we're still discovering new features which are really great and of course will be very, very helpful for iOS 16 users. But we're not just talking about features on this video, we're also talking about some really big problems that you will find with the beta one of iOS 16, battery, performance, and beta 2 as well. So everything in this video regarding iOS 16. Now, before we get into all that, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Please make sure you hit the like button on this video. That like button actually helps out a lot and will help the video and the channel perform much, much better. So make sure you smash the like button. Let's first take a moment to thank NordVPN, the sponsor for today's video. Looking for a VPN solution for your iPhone? NordVPN got you covered. With an easy to use interface that lets you connect to more than 5,500 servers in 60 different countries with one click and of course gives amazing speed and it has been confirmed by the latest speed tests. NordVPN is the fastest VPN out there and of course it offers amazing features like the double VPN for extra protection or the ability to play games not available on your country with just a click, change the location and play any game you want. Have access from anywhere to content like movies or videos that are not available in your country or a country you have traveled to. And now the new anti-malware feature offers users a much safer and smoother online experience. With these advanced anti-malware capabilities, NordVPN has become more than just a VPN. It's now a powerful cybersecurity tool. Make sure you go ahead and give it a try by checking the link right down below in the description of the video. You can get an exclusive NordVPN deal by going to nordvpn.com slash iReviews and now it's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. All right, let's get started with some new features you will be able to find on your device running iOS 16. First of all, if you go to iMessage and you're typing something here, the predictive text now will give you suggestions of contacts name. You know that you can mention someone on iMessage. Well, now if I just type something, so if I just type test right here, you can see it will suggest me the contact. So I will have basically the contact's name and the picture right there, which indicates that this is not a word that has been suggested, but it's actually a contact. And I can tap here and mention that contact on that iMessage. The Files app on iOS 16 also has gotten a big update and of course some really cool new features. And here's one of them. So let's say I just want to move this file to this folder right here. Well now I want to get it back, maybe I have done that by mistake. All I have to do is just tap and hold on a blank space here and now it will give me this like quick actions menu. You can see right here we have undo move. So if I just tap right there, it will undo the move that I did and just bring back the file to the existing folder. That's really cool and anytime you mistakenly just move a file, you can do that really quickly undoing the move of any file you want. Head on to the settings on your iOS 16 device and you will find a new feature here. Go to the Safari settings and just lower here, you will have, of course, the option to clear the browsing data right here, clear history and website data. But if you tap here now on iOS 16, you can see what it shows. It shows another pop-up which asks you if you have tabs opened, it will ask you whether you want to close those apps, tabs or keep the tabs opened on Safari. So now you can see right here, if I go to Safari, I have a few tabs here, a couple of tabs open. So of course it will ask me whether I want to clear those or not. So you can give basically the answer right here and keep or close the tabs that you have currently opened. Now this right here is really interesting. This is more like a tweak on the notifications right here. So if you want to clear a notification, Previously, you had to swipe all the way here. Now, all you have to do is just swipe a bit like this and you can see it kind of follows through and it will clear the notification. If you have a bunch of those, you just keep swiping like this and you will clear them in a second, which is really, really easy to do. Let's head on to the calendar. Here we have a change here as well. Now the calendar on iOS 16 uses like drop down menus like this. So you can see, you can basically see this all around iOS 16, these menus with these two little arrows. And that's of course 
on the calendar app as well so anywhere you tap right here will get these new menus with ios 16. now let's go here to the reminders app and here we have another hidden feature so of course on the reminders app you will have your lists here you can hide any of your lists simply by tapping and holding on it it will give you the option to hide the list right there now, of course, if you want to get back the list on the Reminders app, you just tap the three dots, tap on Edit Lists right here, and you will see the list here. Tap Done, and you will get back the list on your Reminders app. And now let's talk about battery and performance on iOS 16 Beta 1. I know this is not that fair actually because it's a big update and it's still Beta 1, so you cannot expect to have great battery life and of course great performance but things are actually not that bad there are certain parts where this lags a lot but in general it's quite good actually for a beta one and such a major upgrade of course it's quite good so going to the battery life right here let's check out the last six days here so you can see what we got so yesterday right here i got seven hours on screen four hours and 46 minutes right there off screen and of course with like probably 120 percent battery charge now that's of course not the best ever but it's actually not that bad so if you take a look at the battery health right here it's at 91 percent so it's quite decent the battery performance is quite decent the only thing that will actually drain the battery on the ios 16 update is the lock screen and we're going to talk about that in a second here but first of all let's just take a look here at the performance so if you take a look at the performance here we have a geekbench test it's actually not that bad so this one right here this is on ios 15.6 you can see the score single core score 1588 1540 right here on ios 16 beta 1 keep in mind it's a beta 1 so we can expect this to improve a lot so you can see right here 4087 while we have here 3931 which is actually not a huge difference and not a huge drop on the scores which of course indicates that this will be quite a, a good software update of course with months to come and the betas to come this should be improved a lot and now let's talk about the biggest problems of ios 16 of course the biggest change is the lock screen so you can expect it to have problems because it's a change it's totally different and it's quite buggy so first of all when you go to your lock screen and of course you have the new option to customize your iphone when you go to your iphone's lock screen here to customize it you will notice that if you stay right here on this interface for like 30 seconds your iphone will get really really hot that's a bug that you can find on ios 16's lock screen it will heat up the iphone quite a lot and sometimes if you're charging your iphone meanwhile it will stop charging until the iphone cools down that's actually quite bad hopefully it will be of course improved with the next beta now another thing is that the the interface that you use to actually customize the lock screen is quite buggy and will crash a lot of times but again as i said is a brand new feature a lot of changes here so expect it to be much much better with beta 2. another thing that i've noticed with ios 16 another bug is the huge lag of the device when you reboot it like when i reboot my device on ios 16 it will take like five maybe to ten minutes for the device to start working normally again like it lags a lot you just try it out you reboot your device it will lag a lot and sometimes after reboot when i go to the app library i see no apps at all so i will have to wait for a few seconds maybe even a couple of minutes to for the apps to appear right here on the app library so of course there are these bugs and of course all the things that are bad with ios 16 but again this being a beta one it's actually not that bad and there are things that you can expect with a beta software that's why this is not for the public to install on their devices and last but not least of course we're talking about beta 2 of ios 16. this should be very exciting we should also get a lot of new features with beta 2. so you can expect that to be released to the devs 
next week at the beginning of the next week so it will be either monday or tuesday these are the two dates so 20th or 21st should be the dates that we get the second beta of ios 16 released to the devs so you can expect it of course as always at 10 a.m pacific time and then beta the beta 3 and public beta should come at the beginning of july so you can expect it probably at 4th or 5th of july these are the two dates that i would expect beta 3 and of course the public beta 1 to be released to the public so that's pretty much it for this video guys these are some more new features of ios 16 beta 2 and of course performance bugs and battery life thank you guys for watching the video subscribe for more videos like this leave a like on this one if you enjoyed it and i'll see you on the next video